What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee! Hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's doing blessed. Hope everybody is having a blessed, blessed day. But real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you, God cares about you. Cash your cares on Jesus because he loves you and everything. Jesus dies so we can live and everything. It's not no religion, okay? It's the real deal, okay? Keep the drive alive, you keep the... <clears throat> keep the drive alive, you keep the dream alive. Don't give up hope, you guys. God got a blessing for you. With your name on it and everything. If you lost a loved one and everything, understand some of you, they're in a better place. They're in the hands of Jesus, they're in heaven, okay? Stay motivated, you stay prayed up and everything. You may get down in life, you may get frustrated in life and everything, but it's imperative. Remember, it is not, excuse me, it's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get up, okay? Always understand that, you guys, and everything. Life and everything is unfair. Life can be treacherous, life can be tragic, life can be uh, many things, but it's up to you how the story ends, all right? I appreciate you guys, I love y'all. I want all everybody to be blessed out there. Everybody, family, be blessed. I speak healing over everybody right now, even my enemies. I speak healing over them right now, healing over you guys, blessings to everybody and everything. I want to see you succeed, okay? I want to see you happy, all right? In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, real quick and everything. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, please understand some I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you. I'm here to be real with you, okay? It's just real and uncut. There's no uh, tablets in front of me. I ain't got nothing written down. This, this ain't nothing I rehearsed. Ain't nothing nobody told me to tell you. Just coming straight from my heart to you guys, all right? I am not here to judge you. I am not here to point the finger at you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I have no heaven and hell to put you in and everything, but I am here to challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. Once you know better, you should do better, okay? Uh, somebody said some negative to you about my channel. Please tell them to go straight to hell because I ain't got time for negativity. You don't want to hear take your ass on, okay? You want to hear uh, bullshit, you on the wrong channel. You want to hear real shit, you on the right channel. All right, you guys. Topic of conversation is today. It is called They Pave the Way for Us Today. I'll repeat, they paved the way for us today. You guys, let me explain something to you, particularly to my, my crown, my age and younger. Like I said, I'm 32 and everything. And just like I said, to most of my young crowd, and even my crowd that's my, my same age, a little bit older. Don't forget where your ass came from, okay? I've said it once, you heard me say it again and everything. Don't forget where your ass came from. There are African Americans and everything who paved the way so you can sit up here and act all high and mighty today. There are African Americans and everything who broke their backs. African Americans who got beat on, shot, killed, hung, and everything so we can enjoy the freedom we enjoy today. The African Americans that paved the way so my black ass and everything have ability to go to school, to uh, drive a truck, or to go or uh, go in the same restroom and everything. Don't forget where you come from. Don't forget the real the real pioneers who paved the way. Too many times and everything we glorify these damn rappers, these damn actors, these damn ball players and everything. You won't glorify somebody and everything in any one of those fields. You go you glorify somebody who's been a real pioneer. Glorify somebody and everything like a Jackie Robinson. Glorify somebody and everything like a Satchel's Page. If you're gonna glorify somebody, glorify somebody like a Bill Russell and everything, first ball black coach in the NBA. Please understand some of you guys and everything. I'm glorifying people like Sidney Portier. Everything. You won't glorify somebody. Let it be worth glorifying. Let it be worth you putting on the pedals to. Instead, we want to walk, go around here making these stupid ass rap songs about how we hate each other, how we just uh, screw each other's man or screwed each other's woman and everything. That shit ain't right. I keep saying it and everything. Martin Luther King did not speak, Michael X did not march, Martin Luther King did not 
give his uh, give I'm gonna say give his give his uh, his best speech that he's ever gave and everything. I have a dream speech for we to us to sit up here and act stupid like this. I got a question to ask you guys. What would y'all do and everything if all the real legends of the past and everything appeared in front of us right now? In front of this crazy ass, I'm talking about strictly to the black community. What would you do if Nelson Mandela and everything appeared to you right now? He knew who you was and you knew who he was. What would he say? What would he say? What would my Angelo say and everything to the uh, young black women of this generation? What would she say out of her mouth if she was living today? We're talking about women, the black women. We're talking about a strong black woman. You're talking about strong black men. What would Malcolm X say? You sit up here, they paved the way, and then you sit up here and act like a damn house nigga. You up here, you didn't forgot where you came from. There ain't nothing wrong with success. I, like I said, I want you to succeed. But at the same time and everything, excuse me, at the same time and everything, don't forget where you come from, baby. Remember, wearing this skin and everything is an honor. And a lot of black people and everything don't even understand it. A lot of them, some my age and younger, some my age and older. There's a there's a, a, a badge of honor to wear this skin. There's a privilege to wear this skin. There's an honor to wear this skin. And the only thing you've been told and everything that it is a disgrace to wear this skin. Or you should be ashamed to be black and everything. Bullshit. Any damn house nigga out there and everything go straight to hell. You keep trying to switch shit over to us and everything. When really is and everything, you've manifested the problem. And now the only thing we're doing is complicated the problem by adding to it. Okay? And I want to tell you and everything, as far as this Black Lives Matter and everything... I heard somebody say this and everything. Yes, black men and black women kill each other every day. That ain't, that's not a lie. That's a fact. But at the same time, remember what I told you guys. I said it before and everything. Why that happened. I keep telling you and everything. Just because somebody look like you. Just because somebody and everything come from quote unquote the same area as you and everything. Don't mean they under, don't mean they're, they're all, they're black. Don't mean they understand. I just want to let you guys know and everything. Make sure you don't forget where you came from. If it wasn't for uh, Martin Luther King and everything, we wouldn't know how to speak. If it wasn't for Harriet Tubman and everything, we wouldn't know how to make a way out of no way. If it wasn't for Malcolm X and everything, we wouldn't know how to stand up against a, 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 excuse me, against oppression and everything. He said any means necessary. If it wasn't for uh, Rosa Parks and everything, we wouldn't know how and everything to get a, uh, to stay in our damn seats and stay grounded where we need to be grounded at. If it wasn't for Maya Angelou and everything, we wouldn't know how to do poetry. If it wasn't for Maya Angelou and everything, we wouldn't understand him, the meaning of the word, and the, excuse me, the meaning of the uh, saying everything, no matter what you do to me, still I rise. Have you forgot, have we forgot where we came from? Understand this, you guys, and everything. And that's just to name a few. We ain't even talking about Major Taylor, the legendary bike, black uh, bike cyclist. We're not going to even mention that. We're not going to even mention Mega Evans. We're not going to mention Madam C.J. Walker. We're not going to mention W.E.B. Du Bois. When at some point in everything, you're going to start realizing everything that it was black people that built this country. And we've been stripped and everything. There was a time on Black Wall Street and everything. We had the money, had the education, had our own hospitals. We had shit going on. But these racist ass American bastards and everything didn't want that to be. Hell, they didn't even put it in the damn history book. I did not know nothing about no Black Wall Street until I got out of high school. You see how they want to keep niggas ignorant? They don't even have it in the history book. You got all these damn Klansmen presidents, all these with these Klansmen have done and everything. What about what the blacks done? Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget and everything. There was a time and everything. Black people couldn't even sit and eat in the same damn restaurant. Couldn't even go in the same damn bathroom. Or drink from the same damn water fountain. What you got to say to that house, nigga? I'm just saying it and everything. Again, I know and everything we uh, harm each other and do each other wrong. I'm not saying we don't. But like I said, and I explained in a different video and everything, go watch that video, Two Lions Trapped in a Cage. And you, I explain exactly why that's keep happening. 
And like I said and everything, to all you millionaires and billionaires and everything, you got all this money, you talk about the black community. You talk about this, you talk about that and everything. You rather for me to pay you money for you to entertain me, whether it's on a court, on a stage, or on a movie screen, everything, to put money in our area, to put jobs in the black area so we can stop the killing, so we can stop the violence towards each other. It ain't no damn hate. Remember I told you the two lions and everything ain't eight in the wild. So everything. I'm going to give you a quick uh, little, little, you know, little skit from it. Two lions trapped in a cage is two black men. You've heard me say this before. You're two black men. You ain't eight in years. Eight in weeks, excuse me, and everything. You ain't eight in weeks, but you in a cage. What society does and everything, they do a piece of meat between you two. Because they're using what you need and everything as far as uh, using what you need and everything against both of you. I, I give it to you like this. I ain't gonna go into it. Like I said, go watch the video. If I had a hundred dollars, I got a hundred. I say I have a hundred dollars. Okay. I'll hypothetically speak, I'm making the point here. I put two black men in front of me. Both black men has a sickly child, and if that child don't get the uh, medical attention, that child's gonna die. Both black men. I'm gonna listen carefully. When I'm telling you about how America do and how house niggas try to portray. Here's what happened. Both of those black men got uh, a sickly child. I got $100 in my pocket. Okay? Now, no, excuse me, I'm sorry, I got $200 in my pocket. I'm sorry, $200. Whatever the medical issue is, both people, both men and everything, it costs $100 to uh, get the medical treatment for each child. Cost $100. Remember, I told you I got $200 in my pocket. Here's what America does. Now, what I would do, I give 100 to this brother over here, 100 to this brother over here. Both of y'all kids, you know, get the medical attention that they need. They can get healed up and they be all right. But what America does, I'm gonna take that $100 and I'm gonna throw it between both of y'all. Now, both of y'all have a need, and your child is sick, possibly could die. But instead of taking care of both of you equally, why not throw a dollar, excuse me, throw $100 between y'all and let y'all fight each other and kill it? Because you know, survival of the fittest. That's what America does. And they, and they use that principle, and they expand other ways for us to keep destroying each other as black men and black women. They getting now and everything. They promote homosexuality. They promote lesbianism. Excuse me. They try to come up with this bullshit and everything for black men and black women to hate each other. It's wrong. The blacks and everything uh, before us and everything. They didn't act like that. They lock arms. They fought together. They didn't fight each other. You need to go talk to your grandmother. Go talk to your grandfather. I'm talking about a real OG. Go talk to your grandmother and your grandfather. And they would tell you everything that black people didn't act that way. You know, of course you had your house niggas just like you got your house niggas today. You had them back then, you got them now. But they're even worse now. They're even worse now. Some of them are disguised and everything as a public defender. Some of them disguised as policemen. Some of them disguised as judge. Some of them is on the Supreme Court. Other ones and everything are ball, ball players, actors. So I'm just letting you know in everything. Don't forget where you come from. Remember the example I just showed you. Why in the world would I give, this is society thinking, why give both of you black men $100 a piece to take care of your child when I can just give one, I can throw $100 and watch you, watch, each, watch you guys kill each other over it because you're fighting over a need. You're fighting over a need. That's why they try to gain territory and everything. As they try to fight over a need. I'm talking about gangs and stuff. That's why they go out and kill each other and fight each other and everything. Because this block over here, they fighting each other and everything over drugs, over money. And remember, most of the time, the drugs is used for sale. It's used for it's, it's the it's the currency. Excuse me, it's the it's the product they use to get currency. The cocaine. They got to flip a bag here, flip a bag there. Flip the weed there, flip the weed there. Because you're trying to hustle, trying to get your money. And the sad part about it is, and everything, America knows that. Why do you think they close all the jobs down? This shit ain't by, by no mistake. 
They do that shit on purpose. They close the job style and everything so your ass can't and everything get ahead the right way. All this talking about everything, oh, you go with a blame, the uh, white man and everything. Well, who the hell I'm supposed to blame? I don't see no, no, no black men hanging each other from trees. Yeah, we shooting, killing each other, but we ain't hanging each other from trees. We ain't sicking dogs and shit on each other. We ain't spraying water holes and shit on each other. I just saw a video a few minutes ago and everything. The uh, black brother, I forget his name and everything. He was bound in a wheelchair. Man, it's an ex-Marine, ex-combat soldier. Somebody who fought for this prejudiced-ass country. And yet, as a civilian, he still get treated like a nigga. When is black men and black women going to understand? No matter what you do in this world, no matter what you do in this country, you can serve the country. You can be a Marine, be an Army, be a sniper, be an Air Force, be a cop. You still a nigga to America. That'll never change. You still a nigga to America. You can have all the money, all the education you want. You can time all you want to. You still a nigga to America. So I'm just letting you guys know that and everything. Don't forget where you come from. Remember, it's the legends of the past that paved the way for our ass today. You understand me? It's the legends of the past that paved the way. When it, you, all, all these kids and everything, they want to go to school, want to shoot up and everything. Like I said, both white, white and black do it. But they want to go up here and shoot at schools and do all this crazy shit and everything. There was a time and everything, black kids couldn't even sit in the same school as white kids, same classroom as white kids. They were boycott everything. Black people had to boycott. They would be out there hanging signs and say everything. We don't want these damn niggers here. You don't think this shit didn't go on in America? Read your damn history book. A house nigga gonna tell you and everything that it all is something we done. So understand that and everything. Matter, matter of fact, it was the house nigga who helped uh, start slavery, uh, slavery. Remember what I told you guys and everything? Just because they wear black skin don't mean they black. Go watch that infiltrator video. I'm going to let you guys know and everything. I understand this black on black violence out here. I understand everything. There's a lot of brothers and sisters killing each other out here. Don't get it twisted. But please understand something and everything. Black lives do matter. The problem is and everything. You have people trying to either make a profit off of it. Or you got the wrong people who's pushing for it in the wrong way. The reason why they say black lives matter and everything, because the way we get shot and killed by, more, by policemen, the way we get treated and everything by the, the, the uh, criminal justice system, don't tell me that they matter. Yeah, I know you can sit here arguing with me all day long, talk about, excuse me, how we kill each other. But I got a question to ask you and everything. Explain to me why 93% of uh, the prisons around the country is all inhabited by black men or black women. Explain that to me. Don't sit here and tell me all them brothers and sisters in jail done the crime. Don't tell me all of them was in there for killing somebody. Because they're not. So like I said and everything. Remember I just told you guys. Decision is yours. You can time if you want to. You can be a house nigga if you want to. You can be Aunt Susie if you want to. But you're still a nigga to America. When you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, you see that black man and black woman. You're still a nigga to America. I know you move out to the suburbs where you ain't got to deal with blacks, you know, deal with them hoodlums and everything. You're still a nigga to America. Let me know when they starve and everything, stopping your ass when you're coming home, asking you what you're doing out here. Let me know when the police get to ask you, say, yo, you live over here, really? What you do for a living? Let me know when everything, when you run into some people and everything, who get to hanging nooses and shit up there, out there, up there where you live at. We should worry about niggas and everything. One thing about niggas and everything, we ain't going to be hanging each other from no trees. That's probably why a lot of trees get cut down now. You don't be hanging each other from no trees. No, we don't do that. Let me know when they start burning crosses in your yard. Let me know when them damn Karens and everything start messing with your ass. You'll learn something then. So I'm just let you know and everything. No, it's not a white and black thing. But I got to make sure and everything that you don't forget where you came from. Is there ignorant ass black people in the world? Hell yeah, it is. I got some in my family. But it's also ignorant ass white people in the world too. Is there black on black crime? Hell yeah, it is. But there's also white on white crime. 
is black people and everything subjected to environment, excuse me, to environment of violence. They say we're prone to violence. We're prone to drugging. We're prone to robbing everybody. All that sounds like to me and everything, we, we're trying to get something. We're after something. Reason why, quote unquote, since we're after something and everything, because you bastards keep taking away from us. We're trying to get money the right way. Go to school the right way. And what y'all do and everything, come out of America and everything, what you do, you take the right way away. You will, build, you will close down a factory, but then yet, but yet, I, then you get the question: Why the crime rate so high? You you go to school and everything. You provide poor security for the kids, poor lunches for the kids, poor education for the kids, and then you wonder why they grow up acting crazy. You make it hard on a single parent mother to try to take care of her kids by taking the father out of the home and tossing him in jail. Or worse, killing them. So you tell me, is this really a black on black thing? Or is there things in place? Like, I remember I told you guys, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna check out some on my next video before I, uh, uh, you know, tell you about it and everything. But I'm going to tell you this. It ain't no coincidence that this stuff happened. It ain't no coincidence at all. Like I said and everything, the choice is yours, man. But don't forget the real black people that paved the way. Ask yourself this question. You pay all this money for entertainment. You pay all these comedians to make you laugh. You pay all these actors to entertain you on a movie screen. You pay all this damn money to see to watch somebody run down a damn field with a ball in their hand. I got a question to ask you. How much money did they pay you? How much money did they give you? When was the last time they came to uh, your school? Yeah, I know it's some athletes and some people that, you know, do a little outreach and stuff like that. I get all that. I mean, they got to make it look good. But when, when have you ever seen them open up a business in the black community? When you ever seen them actually open up a real business where somebody can work and get some, make a real paycheck, brings a decent amount of money home to take care of somebody? When? So I'm letting you guys know and everything. You tired of you tired of seeing black men robbing people? You tired of seeing black women robbing people? You tired of seeing black men and black women killing each other? Do me a favor. Stop starting the excuse me. Do me a favor and everything. Yeah, quit creating a quit creating the, 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 the environment for them to do that. Like I say, if there's no jobs, where well, I'm gonna get my money from. If there is no, there's no good education and everything, how I'm going to learn something? How in the hell and everything, a damn rich child get to go to, uh, go to uh, college for free? And here's somebody who's way smarter and may qual way more qualified to go to college, got to struggle through college. Yeah, they may get their degree, but they $80,000, $90,000 in debt. Explain that to me. Some shit ain't right, y'all. This shit ain't right. Everybody talk about all a bunch of shit and everything, all this stuff, all this material stuff in life, all that everything. You don't understand the black people who paid the way so your ass can get that. Or you run around acting high and mighty, acting like you the shit. Tell my man or woman, you think you a big executive at a company that you owe, you big boss, trying to show out and all that and everything. Or I don't hang with them niggas no more. You call me by my first name, buddy. Don't forget the black people who paid the way. Don't forget. Because if it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be no me. If it wasn't for a black man to speak, there wouldn't be no me. If it wasn't for a black woman to march and to speak, there wouldn't be no black women. How dare y'all sit up here and take that shit for granted? It's time we start giving all the reals, the real pioneers, they respect. And we sit here, we dog Black History Month. We treat it like it's just a, a, a damn joke. If it wasn't for them and everything. Notice we got the shortest month of the year in February. Yeah, you get them little, get them niggas something and everything. That's fine. Give them a little day. Talk about Martin Luther King. That's it. Bullshit. This shit need to get right. This red and 19, you guys. Don't forget where you come from. Wearing this skin is an honor. It's not a disgrace. 
And all that Black Lives Matter, I don't want to hear that shit. We kill each other and everything. You stop creating an environment for them to do that. Parents, raise your kids right. You don't want them acting statistical and everything. You quit raising them statistical then. Period. Y'all be blessed and take care.